So in the absence of a main tea battery, I have mainly been using these two cubes for the last few weeks, the Meilang Magnetic Tea Battery and the Worm 2021. They are both pretty good cubes and I really wasn't sure which cube I was going to main. I mean, both cubes have pros and cons. I enjoy the premium feeling of the Worm 2019 better, but I tend to perform better on the Meilong. Also, the Worm 2021 center cap drops out quite a bit, and my Worm 2021 came with two faulty edge pieces where the magnets were dislodged out of the box and it makes this really clicky annoying sound sometimes. But in the end, I still decided to make the Worm 2021 my temporary main for now over the Meilong. I mean, the Meilong's great, but the Worm 2021 just feels more premium and I enjoy turning the Worm 2021 more than the Meilong. I mean, the Meilong is still a great cube, but it ain't gonna be my main for now. Alright, last week I said I was going to work on my cross to f -dial transition, which I did, and I have been slowly improving and getting back to my original speed. I still get 10s and 11s quite frequently, but I do tend to get 8s much more frequently, and my session averages tend to be around the low 9 seconds, which is pretty good. In addition, I've gotten quite a few more 6s and 7s. Even though I don't get them that often, I do usually get a 7 once every 10 or so sols. A couple of days ago, I got my first sub 8 average of 5 on the Meilong, which is just awesome and I'm really happy with that. So I haven't really done any events other than 3x3 for months. I mean, I used to do 2x2, 4x4, 5x5, OH, Pyraminx and Megaminx in the past, but I just haven't really had fun doing those events recently. So I thought, why not try starting a new event? As for WCA events, there were a few that I hadn't tried yet, and I decided to go for blind. The thing is, I've tried learning to be blind like 4 times over the past years, and every time I start learning blind, I either get bored or demotivated, or I just don't have time to practice and just stop. I can't tell you guys how many times people have seen me cubing and say, oh yo, that's cool, but can you solve it blindfolded? And I'm just like, uh, because it's not that blind's actually that hard, it's just that I never really got into it. Okay, thankfully I already know how the beginner old Pokemon method works. The Rubik's Cube has 20 edge and corner pieces, which means I have to memorize 20 letters. Obviously, I'm not going to suddenly try and solve the whole cube from no experience. Instead, I decided to try solving the last layer only using the blind method. So only 8 pieces instead of 20. This is a pretty good way to start learning. The only issue I can think of is while I get very good at recognizing pieces in the top, I never practice those on the bottom, although this can be solved easily by rotating the last layer to a random side, like on the bottom for instance. I've had quite a bit of fun doing this last layer blind practice lately, and I'll be doing it more over the coming week. Hopefully, I'll be able to successfully solve my first 2x3 blindfolded soon. Alright, it's Q&A time. So last week, the Q&A was a bit chaotic, you know, I answered questions from like 3 different platforms and it was really weird. So this week, I'm just going to answer 3 questions from one platform only, and I'll be selecting that randomly. So, the platform this week is... Discord. Will you start uploading more frequently? Yes, I do intend to upload more frequently. In fact, for the past few weeks, I've been uploading twice per week instead of my usual once per week. So now it's my holidays. Hopefully, I'll be able to continue making videos twice a week. And if I find the time, maybe even three times a week. Do you think Garn is the apple of cubing? So obviously, this is a very common question. Garn always gets compared to Apple for a variety of reasons. But personally, I don't really think that they're that much alike. I mean, just because they both have expensive and premium products doesn't mean like they're exactly the same, right? I mean, a lot of different companies have a lot of expensive products and like to have fancy packaging just because Gan and Apple have a lot of things in common doesn't necessarily mean that Gan is the apple of cubing. Also recently Gan has been trying to produce cheaper cubes which I think just makes Gan slightly different from Apple in this sense. Do you think we will ever get a sub 12 4x4 bolt back on? Well that's sub 12 that's that's insane. Personally for me, I don't think so, but but I'm pretty sure like 10 years ago, no one thought that someone would be able to solve a 4x4 in under 20 seconds, and obviously that has happened a lot recently. But that's mainly been with hardware improvements, and personally, I don't think that 4x4s can get that much better than they already are, because 4x4s are already pretty decent. I mean, they pop quite a bit, but I don't really see anything like any major innovation to 4x4 that will suddenly allow people to solve 4x4 under 12 seconds. So yeah, that's going to be a no for now, I think. Alright, that's it for today's vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more episodes, do leave a like and let me know in the comments. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and please consider supporting me by using discount code MCUBUS at speedcubeshop.com which really helps to support my channel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.